there are a lot of subtleties in Tai Chi, in Bagua, not quite as much in Jing Yi, but especially Tai Chi and Bagua. And I want to show you something about loosening the joints. We were working on a movement last night in the Chin 38, where you come up at the end and you come out and then you fold the arm in turn into high pad on a horse. A really good exercise to work on is the small arm circle and the silk reeling exercises. Because when you do a lot of movements in Tai Chi and Bagua, you open and extend the arm, but you have to loosen the joints. So you don't move the shoulder, you Relax, open, spiral the joint. Spiral up through the arm like, like a rope. And it starts in the shoulder where you really have to watch, watch how subtle it is here when it relaxes and spirals. So these movements, the more you practice, the more subtle they get. You, you might start out doing a movement like this, but, but after a while you're going to want to make it subtle and spiral. It's true with Bagua too. A lot of movements in Bagua are this way where it's not a gross movement with the shoulder, but a relaxation opening the joints. The more stiff you are, the less chi flows through. When you relax it and extend, that's when you maintain your internal strength and get the spiraling really going. Okay, so from from here, I'm going to extend the arm, but I first relax the shoulder and let the joint loosen. See that? It's very subtle. A lot of people wouldn't notice it. So when you do these, the silk reeling exercise, a small arm circle, that informs a lot of your movement through the forms. So the wrist isn't stiff, it's not stiff, it's loose. It's like a paintbrush. And you extend and you spiral it through. The elbow opens, the wrist opens, and you spiral it. If you're not a member of internalfightingarts.com, what are you waiting for? Try two weeks free today. You have nothing to lose and a lot of skill and insight and understanding to gain.